Okay, we're back with more Blender exercises to help you become an expert. Today we've got fake fire using a cloth simulation, creating a golf ball, animating stylized wind, light streak reflection, and an infinite ground. Practice these exercises and you'll learn a thing or two. You can download the exercise files on my Patreon and Gumroad. Let's jump in. Let's begin with the fake fire simulation. It should show you some quick shortcuts for animating, cloth simulation, and creating simple shaders like fire without doing any actual simulation. First, let's make an animation of a stick being waved around. Just scale the default cube on one axis until you get something interesting. Move the pivot point of the stick to the bottom so that it rotates from there. To animate it, turn on keyframe recording, use the space key to play back, and wave the stick around. This will create keyframes for the movements. Now let's do the same thing again, but this time only rotating the stick to record the rotation keyframes, which should give us a waving stick animation. Now let's create a cloth simulation for the fire. Add a plane, shape it, and subdivide it a few times. Select the bottom vertices and give them a vertex group. Now parent the plane to the stick so that it moves with it. Add a cloth simulation to the plane and use the vertex group as the pin group in the cloth settings. To make this look like fire, you can adjust the vertex group in vertex paint mode to make the cloth more stable at the bottom. Turn off gravity, add a strong wind force pointed upwards, and animate a strong turbulence force going up. You can turn off the animation of the stick in the curves panel to see the effects of the wind and turbulence force. You can also slow down the waving motion of the stick by spreading the keyframes apart. Now let's make the fire using a noise texture. Add a new material and mix an emission shader with transparency. Add a noise texture, increase the contrast using a color ramp, and add some distortion and roughness to the noise. Animate the noise rising up by adding texture coordinates using Control T and animating the Y axis with the expression frame slash 50 dot dash one. The axis may be different for you depending on the actual rotation of your object. To add color to the fire, add another color ramp and use the eyedropper to sample colors from an image of real fire to get the correct look. Use this as the color for the emission and use the other color ramp as the factor for the mix shader. Make any adjustments you like. Now let's create a mask to hide the sharp edges of the mesh. Unwrap the mesh. We'll use the UVs to control the position of the mask. Create the mask using a gradient texture set to sphere and make sure it's using UV coordinates. Scale it to the shape you like. Add a vector math node between the gradient coordinates to introduce some distortion using the original noise we created. This will also offset the gradient. To recenter it, subtract 0.5 using another vector math node. We can now use this result as the new mix factor. At this point, everything else is about adjusting values, but the basic structure is complete. Now let's make a golf ball. This exercise shows that if you have the right technique, modeling can be very simple. Add an icosphere with a subdivision of three. The subdivisions will determine the spacing and number of indents in the ball. In edit mode, select everything and bevel all the vertices using Control shift b Scale them to the size you want, then switch to face mode and select one of the triangles inside the circular formations. Use shift g to select similar, choose area, then increase the threshold until all the circles are selected. Use F to turn them into n-gons, and Shift-Alt-S to make them perfect circles. Then inset and extrude inward to create the indents. Shade smooth and add a subdivision surface modifier to make the ball smoother. And just like that, you have a golf ball. You can also make different versions by repeating the same process with different subdivisions to get various spacing. This exercise should give you some handy tricks to polish your renders with appetizing effects like light streaks or stylized wind. To start off, I'm going to mix two layers of HDRI images with clouds and animate them rotating. Make one slower than the other to give the clouds a sense of depth. Now, to create the stylized wind, let's make a plane and extrude it to form the path of the wind. Smooth it out using a subdivision surface modifier and use Shift E on the outer edge loops to keep them sharp. Let's create a new material that mixes an emission shader with transparency using a noise texture as the factor. Add a color ramp to increase contrast and stretch the noise on one axis until you get the streaks you like. Animate them on one axis using an expression or simple keyframes. Everything else is just adjusting values to get the look you want. You can even turn off the HDRI to make it a night scene, 
give the streaks some color, and add a reflective object. Just like that, they'll turn from wind into glowing light streaks. And that's it. Don't forget to subscribe for more exercises. Project files are available on Patreon and Gumroad. You can also level up your Blender know-how by taking the Advanced Blender Effects course, which covers even more techniques. Links are in the description.